Hello everybody, I'm Wolfgang from Wokibi and this is the installation video for the front for the BMW iX3. So let's get right into it and start with the preparations. Follow me. So first of all, we need to install the neoprene badge, which is meant to reduce vibrations when the frunk is installed. Simply attach it right here at the corner. As second thing, we want to install the holding triangle on the right side, like this. We use the screws, the big washer, push it in from inside. Hold the holding triangle. Take one of the small washers and one of the nuts and then simply just tighten it by hand. And of course, with the second one as well. Once again, big washer from the inside. Push it through. Small washer and the nut from the outside. And then hand tighten it. Okay, so much for the preparations, so let's start installing it. First of all, we need to take out the cover. It's attached with rubber snap-ins on the front too, here and in the back there. So simply lift it straight up, pull it up, and then we want to steal two of these rubber snap-ins, because we will use them later on. Perfect. Now the cover is done and we can place it somewhere else. This is an important thing. These cables sometimes is a little bit tricky because it's always routed a little bit different when it comes from the factory. But usually you don't have to cut one of these cable holders, just move it a little bit so that it fits. And first of all, you want to always install the frunk until it rests down back there and doesn't sit on top of the cable, just like this. Perfect. Then we install the rubber snap-ins, just push them in from below, through the holes in the front. And don't worry, they're not holding any force, they are just to secure the position and press them in place a little bit. So, now it's time to connect the frunk with the clampings. To install them, just Go from below and with the straight side, push it through the cutout here on the front. Turn it around. And now you need to use one of these wing screws to attach the front to the car. And I recommend using these wing screws because if you use these wing screws, you can install and uninstall the frunk without any tools and then it's considered cargo according to law. So you won't have any issues with TÜV or with the registration. Okay, first side is done. And now we want to proceed on the second side. So. Always install the clamping like this and place it 
under the holding triangle. Then once again, we use the second wing screw, place it and screw it down to give it a firm hold. Perfect. So last step is now to clamp the holding triangle a little bit closer because we just hand tightened it. So we use a 10 millimeter nut from the outside and a four millimeter hexagon screw. And we just tighten it up a little bit. So the holding triangle is fixed. And of course, repeat for both of the holding screws. So last but not least, you can have our optional rubber inlay mat and install it right here in the bottom. It's precision cut by a CNC machine and it fits perfectly. So as you see, that's already it. Around about five minutes with talking, it takes a little bit longer. And now the frunk is installed. It will give you around about 47 liters of additional storage. It will usually stay clean and it will stay dry. We have already tested this. I hope this installation instruction was helpful and I wish you all the best. See you next time.